Hey everyone, Brian Lawton, Wisconsin Realtor here with some tips on buying the right neighborhood when you're out there shopping for homes. And really I have two things I'd like to talk about with you on buying the perfect neighborhood for you and your family. The first one is to do your pre-showing homework. And you can do that in several ways, right? Number one in your pre-showing homework would be to check out the schools. Schools that are strong and communities with strong school districts tend to have better property value, maintain higher property values, and you can maybe look for appreciation or at least a steadying of your investment. So, you know, go out and meet with a principal. Do some homework online about the grades that they're given by their states. There's a lot of ways to connect with schools and make sure that the school district you're buying in is strong and healthy and has a future ahead of it. Is there a school referendum coming up for the community to vote on? So there's a lot of things you can do with schools pre-showing. Number two is what I call the latte factor. So search for national brands. Maybe it's your favorite coffee house. Maybe it's other national brands. These national brands vet communities, traffic patterns, jobs, you know, um, average income, all of that stuff is studied by national brands. So make sure that you can look around that community and see that others are investing in that community, the community's healthy, and so you know when you buy into that neighborhood, that community, that there's a good chance that it's a stable and healthy economy if you're not familiar with that community. Number three in your pre-showing homework, so this is before you meet with your agent uh, to go see the house, you know, just study a little bit is look for ownership. Drive around the neighborhood of the house that you're gonna be looking at. Are there a lot of for rent signs? Are there apartment buildings? You know, that indicates a lower level of ownership, home ownership. And you're probably wanting to buy, unless you're an investor, you're probably wanting to buy for your family in an area that's full of homeowners. So make sure you do the homework and drive around that neighborhood. Number four is change. So. Meet with the Chamber of Commerce. So do some research on the Chamber of Commerce's website of that community. What kind of change is coming to that community? Are there jobs coming? New industry? New companies investing into that community? These are all really important before you make a huge investment like buying a house in that community. So that's another tip on your pre-showing homework. And the last tip on the pre-showing homework would be routine, your routine. So drive around that neighborhood. How far is it for you to commute to work? Drive that distance. How far is it to that coffee house again or whatever those normal morning routines are, daily routines. Maybe it's where you can put your kids into a gymnastics class or you know how connected they are to a, a fitness center or something like that. But make sure you've studied, driven around and done that pre-showing homework. Okay, you've done the pre-showing homework and now we're on to the second thing which is the day of showing awareness. So now you show up to the house, you're with your great real estate agent and there's three things I want you to pay attention to just to get an idea of buying the right neighborhood, right? So number one thing I do is look at the roofs. How simple, right? Just take a moment when you get out of the car, look up and down the street or drive up and down that street and look at how new those rooftops are. Really, it seems so simple, but it tells you that the families in that area or the people that own those homes in that area are taking care of some big CapEx expenditures like a roof, okay? It doesn't tell you everything, but it gives you a good indication that this is a neighborhood that takes care of itself. Number two, look around when you get out of your car. Are there people around? Are there kids outside? Do you hear a lot of activity? Are there people walking? You know, what's going on in the neighborhood? What can you observe on the sidewalks there, in the streets there? What, what does it feel like? Can you hear the interstate? All those things, look around for people. People are a good sign of a healthy neighborhood. The last thing on the day of showing that I would tell you to ensure you're buying the right neighborhood, just take a look at the landscapes. Are people maintaining their landscape? Is it winter? Have they shoveled their sidewalks and driveways? If it's in the summer, are the lawns manicured? Have they been mowed? Are there a lot of weeds in the lawn? Look around. Again, it's a sign that the homeowners there take pride in their homes and you're buying a neighborhood that is going to be stable. So those are some pieces of advice. Pre-showing homework, day of showing awareness on buying the right neighborhood. 
Thanks for listening and we'll see you next time.